So these days, uh, displays are ubiquitous. Everybody's using smartphone and computer monitors and tablets and, and laptops. And for people for whom vision is a problem, people who have some vision problems, it can be a struggle sometimes to look at displays. And our idea is that rather than relying on corrective lenses for the viewer, our objective is to modify what's actually being displayed, change the light that's coming out of the display in such a way co to compensate for these visual problems so that when a particular user views the display, it will look to be in sharp focus for him or her. We do that by incorporating the, the specific visual problems that we've measured or that we know about for that particular user. The broader application is for any, anyone who right now wears eyeglasses to be able to use a device without needing the eyeglasses. One, one of the examples is for people who are nearsighted and wear eyeglasses or contact lenses to see in the distance. Uh, once, uh, for these people who get generally past the age of about 40, they have some difficulty focusing close they may need reading glasses e together with their distance glasses, and that can be a problem. So here we have our little prototype device. It's an older Apple iPod 4 Touch, and our little screen that's put on top of it, and that's where we're putting the display that we have calculated, our compensated display, uh, with the calculations that are based on the particular parameters that we're looking at. Uh, on the other end here is a camera, you will notice that we've removed the camera lens. Uh, the reason for that is because the camera lens itself uh, would contain uh, many little lenses that are complicated and we don't have the specifications. And in order to do a very careful scientific experiment, uh, that would uh, be difficult for us because we don't have that information. So by removing the lens, we can control the experiment very precisely. And what we have here is a set of little simple lenses spaced apart at distances and we're very carefully calibrating what those distances are and we know the information about the particular lenses, aperture stop, stop aperture stop, etc., cetera, uh, so that we can use that in our calculations. And the idea is that we're then putting the compensated image on this display and through uh, the optics that we have here, these lenses, we then look at the image that, that we record on the camera. The image that you see on the camera being captured by the camera that should be in sharp focus. That's the objective because again, this is simulating what would happen for a person who has, in this case, needs reading glasses. We want to try to create an image that will look in sharp focus. And then what we do to do that is to compute this compensated image on the display itself. And that's the image back there, which again, if you look at it, it's uh, quite obvious that it looks very strange uh, because it has been intentionally distorted in this very precise, complicated way such that once it goes through the optics that are in error, it will then look sharp. Again, in this case, the error is simply that the focus is at a distance further away than where the iPod is, which would simulate what would happen with somebody who needs reading glasses. We take this information that we have, we then feed it into the uh, algorithms that we've developed, we generate this compensated image on the iPod here. Anybody else looking at it says, gee, it looks like a very strange image, which is uh, making sense. But in fact, when we then look at the image that's captured on the camera, uh, it looks to be in sharp focus. And that's our proof of concept that the ideas uh, are making sense.